Hi guys, and welcome to Computer Science Degree Saver. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can allocate IPs uh, with DHCP to a different VLANs. So, as you can see, we have uh, the two VLANs here uh, on this switch, and then we have um, the DHCP server connected via a router. So, all the IPs are on the screen. Um, I already pre configured the VLANs on the switch. Here you can see the VLAN database, we have the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. And we want to allocate IPs to this host via DHCP. As you can see, at the moment it is still not configured, DHCP failed. And now what we have to do is, in order to uh, allocate IPs to the different VLANs, First, we need to configure the router uh, to have an IP in each VLAN so that we can use this IP as a default gateway to the specific VLAN. Um, so in order to do that, we can use, uh, let's say for example, router on a stick or a router with connected VLAN trunk. So what we're initially doing is from the CLI, we are going to uh, make a logical sub interfaces for each uh, VLAN. So here we have the gigabit Ethernet link, I think, yeah, 000. And what we are going to do is split this 000 into, into two sub interfaces. First, we are going to need an IP in the uh, VLAN 10. And then we're going to also need an IP in VLAN 20. I'm going to use these two IPs. I already uh, showed them on the screen so you can understand the network. So the commands that uh, we have to do is interface uh, type. Here we have gigabit ethernet. Then we have the number 0, 0, 0. And here we set a punct and then we just punct 10. Here we can name the interface whatever we like. It can be punct 50, but let's keep it um, uh, standard and use the VLAN number. Uh, English marker, we have an error. Probably here with oh at the end I placed this character here in the backslash that's why it failed but now as you can see we created a sub interface and uh, we have to configure also the IP for this interface and also activate encapsulation we are going to use the dot one Q standard. And then we want here to choose for which VLAN we want to encapsulate packets. So VLAN, uh, here we need only the, v, uh, the VLAN ID, so we're going to choose 10. And at the end, we only need to configure also AP address. And here we give the address 192.168.10.1. And also the mask. 255255550 and now we should have an interface uh, a sub interface ready we can uh, configure first the second one and then we can check if everything works fine so one more time interface gigabit ethernet 0 0 0 here we need 20 again everything works fine and now we need encapsulation and then the IP. And here we need the VLAN ID 20. And now IP address. And here we are going to use 192.168.21.255.255.0. Okay. Now let's check if we configured everything. And here we're going to use the command show IP root. And as you can see, here we have both 
and 10 and also on 20. So that means everything should be configured uh, successfully. Now we have to make two separate IP pools from which you are going to allocate IPs, one for VLAN 10 and one for VLAN 20. So here for the first, let's name it pool 10 or just VLAN 10. And then the default gateway is the sub interface in this VLAN 192.168.10.1. Here the first IP, let's take the second one because the first one is the default gateway. Let's make the network big. Let's take the 255.255.255 and maximum number of users. Let's make it 10 just for the example. And now we also configure the second pool, the VLAN 20. Here the default gateway is the other one, this here. And now let's make the same. The second IP should be uh, the first uh, that can be allocated and also we want to have a maximum of 10 users. Okay, now DHCP is also configured. Let's check if this works. Set it to static. Then again to DHCP. So it didn't work, and that's because at the moment uh, we have a router that separates our network with the DHCP server, and normally the host DHCP requests are not forwarded. Um, no, not routed, sorry. Not, uh, and that's because they use the broadcast address of the network for destination and use the IP address 0000, 000 uh, for source. That means um, we have to configure DHCP relay in order to uh, allocate uh, IPs with DHCP in this network here. So what DHCP relay does is teach the router where to send uh, this DHCP request uh, and the router changes the source IP um, from 000 to the IP of the router and also changes the destination from the broadcast to the DHCP server that the router knows. So for each sub interface, here let's make config and now for each sub interface we're going to configure where to send the DHCP traffic. So let's make interface gigabit ethernet and we need the 0, 0, 0, 10 first and here with the command ip helper address we teach the router where to send the dhcp request and here we take the ip of the dhcp server 192.168.2.2 and now we do the same for the uh, second uh, gigabit interface the 20 with the same command, nothing changed. And now the allocation should work. Oops. IP configuration, static. We change it one more time to DHCP. And as you can see, the request was successful. And we have an IP in the VLAN 10 or also the um, subnet 10 um, and the default gateway is this one the IP of the router in the VLAN 10 let's now try the same for the VLAN 20 desktop IP configuration and change that to static we should get an IP in the VLAN 20 and also the default gateway in is in the VLAN 20 so that's everything for today I hope you enjoyed the video if it was helpful, please leave a like and uh, comment what you want to see in the channel. Bye.